Today on Seasonings, we're talking about probably the most ubiquitous spice in the world, pepper. Pretty much everybody has black pepper in their kitchen. There's pepper on the table. There's pepper grinders, pepper shakers on pretty much every table of every restaurant everywhere on the planet. Peppercorns come from a flowering vine native to India, and the Latin is right there. What is black pepper? Uh, black pepper is a berry. It is picked off of the vine just before it ripens. Uh, it is allowed to ferment a little bit and then dried, so the fruit dries around the seed in the middle, and you end up with this black peppercorn. Now sometimes, but not very often, you will see white pepper. Um, it comes from exactly the same plant. It is exactly the same berry. This time the berry is allowed to fully ripen, and then the berry is completely removed from the seed. The seed is dried, and that's how you end up with white peppercorns. A lot of flavor similarities between the two, of course, because they are pretty much exactly the same thing. White pepper lacks some of the complexity and some of the heat that black peppercorns have, and therefore white peppercorns are used slightly differently in cooking. Uh, you'll use a white peppercorn where you want the flavor without the heat, You'll use a white peppercorn where you want the flavor without the color. You don't want to see the black specks throughout. Now, pepper is native to India, but at this point, the number one producer in the world is Vietnam. Of course, pepper, like a lot of other spices, should be ground just before you use it. And at this point, a, uh, a spice grinder like this or a pepper grinder like this, uh, they're everywhere. They're relatively inexpensive. Uh, you'll really notice a difference when you grind pepper fresh. But, you know, having said that, I grew up where ground pepper was in a shaker on the table and who knows how long it had been there. But it still gave a lot of flavor, so, you know, it's up to you. So the name pepper comes from the Sanskrit word for the plant, pipali. What we're actually eating is a droop, and other droops that you may know are peaches or nectarines. And a droop is just something that is a fruit with a single seed inside. Uh, other droops are nutmeg. Nutmeg is a droop as well. There are other varieties of pepper out there. You'll often see red peppercorns, um, which are Sichuan peppercorns. Different plant, different effect totally. Um, we'll cover that somewhere else. And the uses for pepper are just too numerous uh, to list off. At this point, it's used in just about every savory dish that we make. It's often used at the beginning while you're cooking it, and it's used at the table. I mean, I don't even know how I have to explain pepper. It's everywhere.